Uh, today, what I'll be doing is taking apart my clip-free automatic backup external hard drive and placing the, the hard drive that's inside this enclosure in an external <clears throat> closure that I purchased separately. And now, any of you that have the clip-free automatic backup model number HD1035, you might know that, that this is great for backing up your computer. Uh, in this case, I was using it on an iMac, and uh, it, it was pretty much an idiot box. The software that was with it was uh, firmware, and you could back up your your hard drive and restore your hard drive, but you could not go onto this click-free external hard drive and explore the files that are on there, remove files that are on there, um, manipulate those files at all. So I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to use this just like I would a regular external hard drive. And I didn't see any more videos on YouTube on how to do this, so um, I've, I've already taken this apart, and, but I put it back together because I thought it might be a good idea to show you folks how to do this because I couldn't find another video on YouTube explaining how to. Um, so I'll get started here, and well, of course, I'll. if you're old like me, you'll need your glasses. But... Um, so really, there's no easy way to do this, and if you'll, if you'll look here along this seam, you'll see where I had to, to force the screwdriver into this seam here to, to pop it apart. Um, and, but there are a few screws on here. There's one here, one here, and then another right here. So I'll go ahead and take those out. So you'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver. take out all three of these screws on the outside of the enclosure. Then I basically just took my flathead screwdriver. This is a small uh, number one screwdriver here. Forced it in the seam and you are gonna you are gonna break some eggs making this cake so if, if you ever want to use this enclosure again I wouldn't recommend doing that although I was successful at putting it back together um, you know I might not be the sec second time around so you want to you want to pop that off okay and the front will come off and this is just your as you can see this is just a backup button and like I said it's kind of an idiot box if you want to back up your files you can just push that or you can use the the software the firmware that comes with the click free automatic backup to uh, back up your files on a schedule in order to get this separated okay there's one cover off it's the uh, the rear the cover off and if you look here this is the firmware. This is this is. If you look at this right here, this is just a, a simply a Hitachi SATA one terabyte hard drive that's inside here. But you can't use it like a normal 
Hitachi hard drive uh, because of this circuit board right here. This is the, the, the firmware that will not allow you to go in and, and use this like a normal hard drive. You have to use um, click freeze software that's embedded on, onto the circuit board. So there's there are two screws here, one here and one here. You want to, to remove those screws. And then the circuit board will come right out. And there's your hard drive. In here. And and if the uh, the part number, I don't know if you can zoom in on that or not, but the part number of this hard drive is 0F10383. Zero Foxtrot 10383. And it's a it's a Hitachi hard drive, one terabyte. Okay, all done with that. Move that aside. And I don't know if you got this. This is the box. I tend to keep most of the boxes uh, with electronic equipment that I buy. This is the I've had this hard drive now for. I want to say since 2009, I believe, 2010, so it's six, seven years old. Um, very useful, uh, very reliable, uh, but, but like I said, I'm, I'm not able to use it the way I want to use it. So this is what I ordered. This was, uh, I got this from Amazon, uh, I order most of my stuff. Um, it's, it's a 3.5 inch external uh, hard drive enclosure, aluminum case, it says it's perfect, uh, aluminum case for a perfect cooling. Um, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's perfect, but it's better than plastic. So, I haven't even opened this yet. It is aluminum. This is the the face here is plastic for sure. So I've never put one of these together before, but I, I don't think it's too tough. So it comes with a, uh, a USB 3.0 cable. It comes with a power supply, wall wart power supply, the screws that, that you might need, and it even comes with a, a small Phillips head screwdriver, and instructions. Um, I can't quite remember how much this was, I think it was around $20 online. I had to, to pause, uh, get my wife to pause the camera there because um, the screws weren't lining up where I thought they should, but I didn't realize that there are sliders here that come off of the enclosure. Let me put the other side off. And when you slide those off, you can see where the where the holes will line up. So you definitely want to connect the front panel to your hard before you mount the put the mounting screws in the side of the enclosure um, so if you look here one connector will go here and the other will go right here there's one and there's and folks I would recommend wearing a grounding strap for this I'm not doing it but um, just because I don't have one here um, and this is a little seems a little tight here but I guess it'll be okay once you once you get everything mounted um, that but this 
front panel goes just like so. And there are two tiny screws two little black screws that come with the enclosure and this is going to be a little tough but let's we'll see mm. easier to ah yes Then we can go ahead and put our mounting screws. Not too worried about overheating. Um, the enclosure that this hard drive was in in the uh, in the click-free uh, enclosure, the click-free enclosure was was plastic, and I know that aluminum has got to be better for cooling than plastic. So um, hopefully this will this won't get too hot. Screw. And then you can take your take the slides. And of course, I should have put the slides on before I put the So, learning as I go here, folks. Oh, but that's the, the rear cover, which is okay. I'm going to take my... to do here on putting this last screw in here I'm gonna have to connect this to my computer and reformat it I'm gonna have to format the hard disk on here which is going to erase everything on it so make sure before you start this whole process that you have taken everything off of this backup that you that you want to want to use um, which would mean restoring your computer. That's the other. That's the other thing about it. 
you can't do one or two files at a time. When you hit restore on this thing, it's going to dump it into a, a folder that, that you specify. So you'll have a folder with um, a huge amount of data on there, more than likely, if you've been using this thing for a few years like I have. But there you go. That's the uh, USB 3.0, 3.5 inch external enclosure. Um, and I believe this is I, 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 Ievo. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But um, and, and held in here is the Hitachi hard drive that came out of this click-free automatic backup model number HD1035. And it's a one terabyte backup hard drive. Okay, and I'm going to, you know, I'll leave it up to you to connect it to your uh, computer. But real quick, the impetus for me doing this is, is one, there's two reasons. One, I have a two terabyte hard drive on my iMac. And, you know, you know, the way you usually think back then when I bought this in 2009, my, my iMac, uh, I thought to myself, there is absolutely no way that I will ever need half of those two terabytes. I won't even need one terabyte, let alone two terabytes. So I really thought that a one terabyte uh, backup would be uh, sufficient. However, uh, you know, I've learned my lesson and so, so you never want to buy a backup drive that is smaller than the main hard drive on your computer. And so I need at least a two terabyte, more than likely I'm, I'm going to just buy a three terabyte because the cost difference isn't that much. So I'm going to buy a three terabyte backup drive for my iMac. And it was a shame to, to waste this, this clip free uh, one terabyte drive so, you know, looking around online, um, I saw some different click frees that people were taking apart. I think they were like 500 gig, but I, I didn't see any videos for the one terabyte, so I thought I'd do that on my own. And um, now, I've, now I've got an external uh, one terabyte hard drive, and I think what I'm going to do with this is use it to store movies on for my camper. Um, we were camping, we got a new RV, and we were camping at a campground a couple weeks ago. And uh, there were a couple of rainy days there, uh, kind of miserable outside. And there was a TV inside the, the RV. Um, but, and there was Wi-Fi at the campground, but you can't stream movies with other campers there because you don't want to hog up all the Wi-Fi. So I said, well, how can I bring a lot of movies, uh, a lot of videos uh, for those rainy days and I found uh, a few ideas online and one was to put them on a hard drive and I may do a video on this later but you put them on a hard drive and then you need a digital media player connected to the HDMI port on your on your TV uh, usually if you have HDMI you've got a you've got a flat panel TV but I also bought this this was a, a $40 $40 item right here. This is a, a Mica Spec G2 digital media player. And so what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to download movies onto my new external hard drive. I'm going to connect that external hard drive to this Mica Spec. And man, this thing is small. It's like, it's like not even the size of a deck of cards. So I would, I would connect uh, this via my USB cable here uh, here and each one of these let's have a, a wall board And this 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 media player plays. Um, I looked it up. There are just about any video format that you can you can think of. Um, I'd recommend uh, once again. I got this from Amazon. I'd recommend going on Amazon and, and looking this up. 
but um, so your your USB cable from your from your external hard drive, and, and this could certainly take a memory stick. I think the max that that they allow or, or, or they guarantee this to use for external drives is is two terabytes. So I'm I'm well within spec here with this one terabyte hard drive, and you can use memory sticks. You can just connect a, a flash drive right into that USB port right there with your videos on it. You can use an SD card right here. Um, and then you just take an HDMI cable and go from the HDMI cable here to your to your TV. Or if you don't have an HDMI cable, um, they did include um, this uh, adapter here, the basic RCA cables. You're not gonna, certainly not going to get the resolution that you would, or the quality, the video quality that you would from an HDMI cable, but you can hook, uh, you can plug in this AV cable into that port and connect it to your TV as well. So, you know, most campers, you 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 want to get, you know, it's nice to get over the air stuff, but we were so far out that uh, we picked up two channels with our antenna, and they kept. Uh, going out as well. So we really didn't have anything um, to look at. So we went to a, an old-fashioned uh, video rental place and rented a few uh, DVDs and watched those. But um, for camping, hotel, um, definitely this media player I think is would be a great uh, great idea. Um, this is, this is uh, you know, these two together, they're not that big. And, and by the way, it does come with the remote. Um, remote control um, these aren't that big to carry with you uh, but just think if, if you had I don't know a 64 gig um, flash drive uh, along with this um, boy that is really small a lot of a uh, lot of entertainment and a very small package okay so that's it for today um, this is my first how-to video I've been doing a lot of stuff, and you know, every time I, I, I fixed a wine cooler a couple weeks ago, and every time I do something like that, I'm done, and I think to myself later, man, I should have made a YouTube video on that, but um, this time I did. This is my first one, so let me know how you like it, and if you do, uh, maybe I'll make a few, few more. All right, bye-bye.